Hey everybody, welcome to Holy Roller Guitars. Today we have the SJ on the workbench. Beautiful matching headstock. And uh, what I like to start off with first is welcome to Holy Roller Guitars. I'm Robert, Holy Roller, and uh, Legally Blind uh, guitar player, guitar tech here on YouTube. As I like to start off with, we're going to take the weight first um, for this SJ. And it's coming in at 85 Point three ounces so 8.5 ounces so on the lower end of the uh of the eight pounds so that's good um does feel like it's mainly coming from the body of course uh but if i stand it up let's see if it changes anything mm, no, not really all righty so now i want to talk to you about the electronics so very cool electronics but we're going to first run down with the standard stuff so for the bridge, we're looking at 7.21. For the neck, which is the Jazzmaster neck pickup, we're looking at 6.60. In the middle, we're looking at 3.50. If we pull on the second tone knob for the phase, I don't think it's going to do anything. And it doesn't do anything. Kind of jumps a little bit because I'm messing with the tone, but that's about it. Um, but this one, the volume actually puts them in series so you're going to see this jump from 3.50 to 13.44 so that's in series now so it's going to be more bassy but both pickups are active uh, and full capacity and not just parallel or where i guess like they're doing like some kind of eight or something now it's like a full circle so like a humbucker um and the other thing is i believe in the neck position when the when the series is active, I think you can go to the neck pickup and it's still 13. So um, reading wise, it seems like if you go to neck pickup, they stay together, but it doesn't. It changes for some reason. It goes to zero if I go to the bridge. The crazy thing with the phase is I can stay in the middle position and I can go in the bridge and the bridge changes to 7.21. If I go to the neck with the phase up, it goes to 6.60 but i forget which one on saturday I'll, I'll check it out and we'll pull these and and see if we can do a sound demo for the different things but now what i have to do is uh, take off the strings we can look at the electronics then we can go to the next specs and then we can look at the or i guess you know what let's do something so now we're going to do something a little bit different with the strings on. We're actually going to take a look at the back of the guitar. We're going to do this a little bit backwards right now because the strings are still on. So what I want to show you all now is the back of the guitar and how it is. It is a string through Jazz Master body. This is not normal. Uh, it usually has a tremolo at the back and that's where the strings go through the tremolo. Uh, similar to this guitar. Hey everybody, we'll be giving away another coffee mug once the channel hits 1000 subscribers. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing, like the video, uh, share, and uh, comment down below. Take care. God bless. Uh, keep an eye out when the channel hits 1,000. We'll make a video and give another one of these away. So usually what you would see a, a Jazz Master look like is like this. Because it usually has a tremolo system like this. So this is a Jagger uh, classic vibe. And it has the shape kind of like a Jazz Master. But I think the point is a little bit bigger. So let's put them side by side and check it out. Well, you know what? They actually look kind of the same. <laughs> um, there's the SJ. Here's the Jagger. Uh, one thing I did want to share with y'all is the neck on the SJ is more like a blonde finish. As you can see there, compared to the classic vibe, it's more of an aged finish. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I just wanted to show you that really quickly. So let's go back to the SJ and look at the neck. So moving on to the neck, it's a one piece neck, of course. Uh, there is no skunk stripe. So we do get some cool wood grain. We have your vintage uh, tuners here. What I want to try and show you is the wood grain up top and this strike right there and that cool wood grain right here. All these little knot kind of things or rings. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now after looking at the neck um, now and looking at the other guitar, now let's uh, take off the strings and look at the electronics. Okay, so here we have the electronics out. Let's start off with the neck pickup, and then we can go ahead and move to the bridge. And what I want to show y'all is 
that this one is just like a plastic bottom with some foam and some springs. Um, let's see. So this is nice. Um, you can see the coals here, same way that you can see it on the Jazzmaster. Um, made in Mexico one. Uh, this one just has the connection points here on the side. And this is what this says in here. I don't know if this will come up clearly what exactly it says. Um, Tele SJ Laurel uh, Tortoiseshell Pick Guard. So that's pretty cool. It says, what is that? USA? Squire USA. So I'm guessing it's a USA series. Uh, Olympic White. Oh, over there, OW. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get much of anything else there. Um, but that's pretty cool. I don't know. If maybe you can fit a humbucker in there as well. But this would be pretty cool. Humbucker. Um, and one of these guitars. Let's see. Y'all want to see if a humbucker will fit in here? And Bob wants to talk. This is just for comparison. A humbucker will fit in here, but I'm not sure on the height uh, what will, where it would be for the height for the, the screws because the screws will more than likely need to uh, need to go down. So, and the pickup looks a little high, so it might need to be routed out some more. <laughs> not sure. I'm pretty sure you have enough meat to to route it out some more, but uh, but yeah, if you wanted to try and put a pick a humbucker in there I think it'll fit uh, with some routing lower of the uh, of that so let's go on to the bridge sorry for sticking on the neck pickup so long but let's go to the bridge pickup we do have our plate there and I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a, one of those affinity pickups um, yeah it says black R at the bottom over there it's just going to be your plate there at the bottom and then wound single coil ground there i love this so just letting you know this one may get an updated bridge uh to the vintage bridge i do have it um because the screws go in the front of the slot for the strings so i can put a legit fender bridge on here so i can put one of these bridges on that SJ, uh, which is a legit Fender uh, bridge, vintage bridge with the Fender saddles. So hopefully that'll come if uh, if I decide to, to do that. I do have the parts for it, so it's all good. Okay, now moving on to the electronics. These are just alpha parts. I'm pretty sure these are alpha um, 250, I believe, for 250K pots for these pickups. Um, they do make 250, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm not sure if I'll actually find it on here, but this is the wiring situation for this. So this is the series pickup or series switch, and this is the face switch here. And this is the tone knob, just a whole bunch of wiring. There is a resistor there, or a cap, yeah, capacitor. Um, yep that's that's what that is and i don't know if these have the yeah so these are probably solid shaft maybe let's check it out one thing about getting this guitar new is it comes with all the allen wrenches so i'm pretty sure the allen wrench for the knob is here so let's check yep. so one of them does fit turn it and it'll come off and it should be <clears throat> yep it is a solid shaft and that's just not a cap it is a solid shaft so that's pretty cool Good work, Fender, on that one. And now I gotta get it to where it's the same as the back one, and it's not rubbing on the on the plate. Alrighty. So starting off on your scale length, we have your traditional 25.5 inch scale length. I thought this was gonna be different, but this is what we have here. And if we look, the neck is almost completely flat, and that's without the string tension. With the string tension, there's a little gap there, but um yeah but this fingerboard this neck is straight as can be 
Um, so with the string tension, it, it pulls on it a little bit and I guess it gives it the proper neck relief. So very awesome there. Alrighty, so now moving to your neck specs. We're starting off with the nut width. Huh, that's different. Let me make sure this is correct. As Bob is my helper, we have 1.61 inches and 40.5 millimeters for your nut width there, which is really, really kind of small. And, and for your 12th fret, we have two inches exactly and 51.2 millimeters. Going to your first fret neck up, which I want to be surprised by this. We are going to have 0.82 for your inches and 20.6 millimeters, 20.7 millimeters. And for your 12th fret, I guess we'll go with 0.86 and 22.5 millimeters. So that's that's a little bit smaller than what I like, but it's okay. Our radius for this guitar is going to be 9.5. And that stays true here at the 13th. And your neck contour, this is the one that I know you're going to want to see, is going to be your C-shape neck. Uh, clearly on the 12th, you can see that. And on the 1st, you can see that there. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than, than what I like. I like like point. 89.90 there and like the same over here so i'll give you a little bit of insight um hopefully um in two weeks i'll have the jagger video up so y'all can see that one and see all the specs that one had a beautiful neck um so that that would be like my ideal neck on that guitar um for for a guitar neck so um with all that being said i guess we can get the depth of the body here and here and uh then we can go from there to end off and the video i just wanted to give y'all one more view down the neck just to see what it looks like um for size comparisons and all that but now let's get the depth of the body starting up here at the upper horn we have 1.61 and 41 millimeters we are going to have 1.51 inches and 38.6 millimeters. So that was for the bottom and for the top here. So I surely do hope that you enjoy this video. And uh, sorry for rambling on with the Jagger and this guitar when I brought those both guitars out. Uh, but just wanted to give you a comparison of the body shapes and all that. So now the, the color looks like this, but if... It changes on camera and looks more yellow but that's not what it looks like it's it's more like like a white creamy color more than a yellow color so i kind of leave it in the wide angle like this to show you all because this is what it actually looks like so uh thank you for your time for watching this video thank you for staying for the for the whole video um for daily advice uh, what i can share with y'all is share the holiday spirit <laughs> Uh, we go out every so often and, uh, you know, we'll say happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Um, and uh, hopefully we get that same message back. Uh, there was one person that was like, oh, OK, if, oh, sure. And, you know, it was kind of a, a letdown, just being honest. It was kind of a letdown. It was like, uh, is it too soon to say it or, you know, what's going on? But, um, yeah, if you share in the holiday spirit, um, share that holiday spirit with others um but other than that thank you for watching and uh and we'll stay tuned for saturday uh we'll have the review and demo i'm keeping it the way it is stock i'm gonna put the, the neck pick up to where um where i think the adjustment should be because where it was at stock it was like at 364s and like 464s for the high e so um i'm gonna push that pickup down a little bit because i think it's a little bit too bassy um probably to like six and five or or seven and six some somewhere around there i'll let y'all know in the video where i put that pickup at but the bridge pickup i am leaving the same i'll put it up here in the picture in picture of where the base is at right now and now 
of where the treble was at. I did not touch that. All I did was take off the screws so y'all can see the, uh, the back of the pickup there. So um, everything is original for the sound demo, for the review and demo, um, but I'm liking it. Uh, I think it's a keeper. It's very unique. It's the colors that I like with the pick card that I like. And uh, yeah, so uh, have a great and blessed day. Peace. We love y'all. Here's the verse of the day. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation. The Lord be with you all. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Until next time, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.